Well, joining us now here on GCR, he was a first-team All-American, the Big Ten Player of the Year this season, and now he's getting ready again for the MLB draft. It's a pleasure to welcome in. It's weird to say former Terp. He is Bubba <laughs> Aline. He's with us on GCR. Bubba, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm good, man. Just thanks for having me on the show, and uh, just glad to be here. Just been training, getting ready for the, the draft year. All right, let's get it out of the way at the top. It's a little bit over a week removed. <laughs> where are you at? Have you like reached a moment where you've been like, all right, man, I, I can move on. It, it, what happened happened. That's the way it goes. Or do you still find yourself like laying down at night and being like, how the hell do they call me out? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, I still think about it all the time. Uh, it's, a, it's still very frustrating, but at the same time, just to kind of move on and and things happen it's baseball I gotta live with it but still get texts about and calls from my friends like (laughs) man I can't believe they made that call I'm like I know but (laughs) just gotta move on and it's it's tough now that makes all of us by the way I still (laughs) can't believe now it's cool we'll just let the uh the pitcher throw the ball into center field but it's cool we'll we'll call out anyway no no big deal (laughs) all right all right we're not gonna we'll leave it alone um are you able to um, compartmentalize the disappointment versus all of the good being the first ever Maryland team to host a regional and everything you accomplished in your fifth season? Are you able to have th- those positive feelings, despite the fact that I have no doubt you all the guys disappointed in how it ended? Yeah. So I think while we're playing at the time, everything kind of going on, we don't really get to appreciate all that we've done and, I think that's just the competitive nature of that team. It's just, we're kind of, we weren't really done and we had no, uh, no plans of being done playing. Um, But I think now that it's all over and said and done, I think we can all look back and, and appreciate all the things that we were able to accomplish and, and kind of the records and stuff that we did uh, change this year at Maryland. I think we kind of knew that this team and this group was capable of doing that coming to the year. So I don't think we were super surprised by it, Um, but to be able to take a step back and look, um, and all the guys and everything that we did this year, it is, I am saying uh, I'm very proud of what this group and, and what we're able to do. A, a lot of that group is coming back. And I know it's going to be disappointing for you to not be able to be a part <laughs> of it. Um, but do you feel like there is the opportunity to continue build? Do you feel like this group, the, the core of what remains there, the pitching that will remain moving forward, they're going to have that chance to take that next step and, you know, maybe be the team that does host a super regional, something like that in the coming years. Yeah. I mean, 100%. I think if you look at the last couple of years, this program is getting better and better every single year. And I think you got guys like uh, Luke Schliger, Matt Shaw and Jason Savickle still kind of leading the charge for this group, all huge contributors for us this year. I'd only expect the best for them and, and to keep getting better next year. Um, I think that the sky's the limit for that group. And I know the coaching staff will do a great job with the newcomers and whoever else is uh, kind of out there playing. Uh, to kind of get them ready and going forward. Um, so really excited to, you know, I won't be on the field with them. Obviously, we're all a part of it as a, as a Terp alum and, and baseball alumni um, and be supporting, but it'll be fun to watch that group play next year. I think they're going to be very good. He is Bubba Aleen. He's with us here on Glenn Clark Radio. All right, so Bubba, tell me how you went from a young man who arrived at Maryland, struggled a bit the first couple of years at the plate, to becoming in your fifth year, a first team all American. How did, did this rise <laughs> happen for you over the course of your five years in college park? Um, it definitely wasn't easy and it definitely was a struggle at first, especially coming in as a freshman and playing so like poorly compared to what I was, ex- uh, was expected to in high school. I um, mean, it's really tough coming as a freshman and, and kind of trying to see that success and not seeing that and saying, like, Hey, where do I go from here? Um, but our coaching staff, me and Matt spoke to a great job kind of, connecting together and kind of growing together and saying, Hey, this is the things we need to do to get better at. And it's a, it was a process. I mean, you didn't see immediate results, but I mean, that's his goal is he works with everyone individually so well to kind of say like, Hey, this is where we need to go. And just, if you just follow these steps, like you'll get there. Um, and I think he did that with every single player on this team the last two years. And I think you've seen growth out of everyone. And I contribute a lot of part my personal success to him along with the other coaching uh, coaches as well. They've done such a great job. You know, it's so funny for me. And I like Matt a lot. He's a great dude. It, every time I like Lamont, I, I talked to Lamont after his massive season last year with the Giants. Right. And he <laughs> yeah. was like, he was like, dude, I singularly credit to, to Coach <laughs> Swope. Like, like didn't even 
he wasn't like, hey, you know, it's a lot about me. And he was like, no, dude, it's about Coach yeah, And Sloan. Swope won't take any credit, so that's why I always take the opportunity to give it to him because <laughs> he just wants to be behind the scenes, and but he does such a great job with all of us. Like I'd say, he, does, he deserves some credit for that. How do you explain that, right? Like Because there's so many guys that I talk to that say the same thing. How do you explain how it is that someone is able to make that connection? Because he can't go swing the bat for you. Like, he can't do yeah. that. <laughs> he like, would he... if he could. <laughs> but I think he's just, he's so dedicated to what he does and such every individual that, I mean, he, he dedicates so much time and effort into each individual player and then the group as a whole as well. Um, but he really makes it his goal to, to kind of be there for us and whatever we need. Um, it's not just like the Matt Swope show where you're doing whatever he wants you to do. It's kind of just, it's a, it's a relationship that you build them. I think that's why you see so many guys come back to kind of hit with them and so many guys he still talks to from who have played here not even quite like a while ago. Um, but just developing that relationship with him, I think makes him better as a coach. And I think it makes us all better as hitters. Um, and I think that's a great part about Maryland baseball is that even like from the head coach, I'm from Coach Vaughn down, I think they do such a great job developing relationships with the players that it makes it really easy for alumni to come back for the regional and for people to continue to want to play here, which is why I see this group going so far in the in the future. Yeah, it's awesome to see all of the big leaguers that are having success right now. It's certainly telling quite the story of why it is that maybe more kids should come to Maryland. With, with that in mind, Bubba, just because I, I never had the opportunity to ask you, a kid from Philly, why was Maryland the spot for you to begin with? Um, yeah, especially when uh, Coach Chef was actually the coach when I was being yeah. recruited there. Um, but funny, I had a friend in high school who's uh, Zach Jankarski, who went to the same high school as me, who went to Maryland as well. Um, so just kind of having that insider info on the program and what the coaches were about was really nice because when you're a high school kid, your coaches are going to kind of tell you what you want to hear and sure. vice versa. And I think that's what they do such a great job at Maryland is they'll kind of say, like, hey, this is what we're about. And if you're the right guy, you'll come. If you're not, then you can go somewhere else, kind of. But I think they do a great job of getting the right kids. And everything I heard about the program sounded kind of somewhere I wanted to be. Um, so it really wasn't even much of a, a decision. It was just like, I think this is the right fit for me. And once they said, like, hey, like, we'll take you, I was like, it was it was really easy for me that from there. As I see you wearing your Big Ten championship hat, it seems like the decision worked <laughs> out okay. <laughs> yeah, it worked out very good. <laughs> yeah, decent. Um, uh, I, I, another question, I just genuinely, I'm sure you've told it a million times. How did Chris become Bubba? What's the story on, on Bubba? Yeah, so I get this one all the time. <laughs> but um so my neighbor, um, actually, they were very close friends of ours, like very family close friends. Um, so one of the daughters was trying to say the name brother, like they were trying to say brother, but she said Bubba instead. And that was her way of saying brother. So I've always had the name Bubba kind of from their family. I love it. I love um, it. And it's kind of just stuck from, I think I went to kids to school with kids for my whole life and they probably had no idea my name was Chris. It's just always <laughs> been, it's always been Bubba. So it's stuck. Plus the alliteration of Bubba Bomb is just too yeah. perfect. Like it just works out <laughs> way just, too it, well. It works so well. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Bubba, you didn't get drafted a year ago. And, and even now, like I'll, I'll peruse, you know, mock drafts and, I, I don't see what are people missing? What is it that people don't understand? If, again, first team All American, Big Ten Player of the Year, we've seen the damage you can do with a bat. What are people missing? And what is the team going to get that ends up calling your name here in a couple of weeks in the MLB draft? Yeah, see, I'm not really sure. I don't really get too caught up in um, kind of what they're missing. I just kind of go up there and play the game hard and try and play it the right way. And and eventually the right team will give me a call this, this year and, and kind of get in with the right with the right organization, with the right fit, which is very important to me is kind of getting somewhere I'll feel comfortable and somewhere where they're going to value my skill set and have a chance of getting called up and moving up. Um, so really it's not about me for what they're missing. It's just about what the right team is going to get. Um, and that's why I'm excited to kind of find the right, right organization and kind of get started in that right direction. What are they going to, beyond the stats, and again, beyond what we know you're capable of, what what are they getting in the person, in the passion, in the player that is Bubba Lean? Yeah, I guess I think they're just getting someone who who tries to play the game the right way and also just a kind of a fun guy to be around, um, very friendly, always trying to make new friends, whether that's with the, the our team or the fans or someone that's just very interactive with the with the, fa the fans and the crowd and just a real love for the game of baseball. Um, and I think that's something you might find like for loss in the minor leagues, people are kind of very stuck on themselves. Um, and just like a team oriented guy, just wanted to go out there and win every day. And I think that's something that uh, we should value a little bit more in baseball, especially in, in minor leagues. So I think kind of bringing that to a team, I think it'll be fun.
I, I am rooting for it to be the Orioles for the record. I want to make that abundantly clear. I think that would be a really awesome way for this story to go. <laughs> Bubba, you, uh, that, that, that moment, you know, like of looking around and you guys did it for, for four days. Right. But that regional in college park, the stands out in left center field. Yep. Um, I, I was, I was there, you know, there, I don't want to age myself, but it's been a while. Right. <laughs> Yeah, and nobody was at those games. Yeah, no one, yeah, all those years ago. To to see that, can you put into words what that was was like for you? What it meant to you for that to be, you know, your last image of being a Maryland baseball player? You know, it's crazy because everyone always asks me, like, "Oh, was it worth it coming back?" and and being able to walk on the field and see that it was. I mean, that right there, it was, it was worth it for just that to see where this program started, where I got here when there was to hundred people at our Friday night games to seeing the, us hosting a regional, seeing all those fans there to watch us play, um, which was just something with this unbelievable feeling um, just to, to show all this, the team, it's a hard work that this team has done. And for all the teams that came before this team too, and all the work that they put in to kind of grow this program to where it was, I think that's just a credit to everyone who's kind of been through here the last, at least five years since I've been here and the people before me too, um, and how much work and, and dedication has really gone on into all this. And I think that was just kind of a, a nice reward um, to kind of see all those people there to watch us was awesome. So cool. It was so cool. It was, it was unbelievable. And then you talk about uh, like work. Um, you know, I, I was, I just had uh, Jose Quas on the show last week <laughs> yeah. and you talk about a guy that had to do work, right? Like you had to go work for <laughs> yep. FedEx. Um, how, how ready are you for that? Like digging back in and having to start back from the bottom and yep earn your way to the major leagues. How prepared are you for the work that's ahead in the coming years? I mean, I, I think I'm extremely prepared. I mean, that's they call us the dirty Terps for a reason. That's I a mean, great point, right? That's <laughs> the, I think that's what they kind of build. That's what we, we do here. Um, we're kind of built for that moving into the minor league and saying, hey, like, we might be starting from scratch, but we know how to work. We've been here before, um, and we're just ready to go at any given time. I think that's what they do such a great job of here. Um, I think that's just kind of the culture that they built at Maryland. Um, and it's just kind of a bunch of a gritty guys just trying to work and, and be the best that we can. So I think when you get to the minors, that's a great mindset to have. And I think we have plenty of experience with that. That's awesome, man. That's it's a great with it. You are the dirty Terps, right? Like <laughs> yeah. you're ready. You're ready to go do all the hard, whatever it takes, whatever it takes in order to get there. Uh, sure. Bubba, it's been such a joy watching you play, man. Like it has just been, again, my God, we will, ne I'll never be over what happened. <laughs> um, this, I'm probably not nearly as much as you won't, but what a joy it was to watch you play. Let me get in some plugs for you. Uh, Twitter, Instagram. Um, maybe there's something that you've been doing now that NIL is a thing, right? That we could, what, yeah. can, what can we plug for you? Um, I don't really know. I haven't really, I haven't really gotten into anything. I've kind of been getting more active on Twitter recently. Um, I, by the way, UConn. I thought that was really cool. You send that out. I know it didn't work out, but like you send out a, a shout out to UConn. Like, I think that was a, that was a, a, a kind of a real neat statement about who you are as a person that you were like, nah, dude, I'm, I'm going to root for those guys. I enjoy yeah, playing that, against them. Yeah. They played the game the right way. They were, they were cool guys to us. Um, so just congratulating them and, and kind of wishing them luck moving forward. Um, being able to talk to those guys on the field and stuff, they, they were kind of a lot like us off the field. They were really good guys who worked really hard and, and they were able to accomplish a lot this season. So really was happy for them. Um, and just kind of, yeah, it was rooting for them to keep going. And, and hopefully they, unfortunately their season ended too, but they had a good run. So that was, was no yeah. doubt. They were, they it, look, man, in another world, they would have been a great story that I would have <laughs> yep. just, you know, not this world. So I know it's at Crystalline or Chris yeah. underscore. Yeah, yeah, at two. Crystal, yeah, under two. And then Instagram, we got a Topher underscore Aline which is a name that came from, I played a summer ball game team in high school. And for some reason they called me Topher, which is All a right. nickname I mean, for me. So I kind of just went with that one. <laughs> what is it about baseball and nicknames, by the way? Like, I don't it's know. Like, I don't think anyone gets called with their real name. <laughs> it's a hundred percent. And by the way, like to the point where they'll be longer. I used to say this all the time. Buck Showalter was in Baltimore. Nick Markakis, and he would call him Nicky. I'm like, it's a it's a elongated version yeah. <laughs> of his actual name. It's just the nature of baseball. That's the way that it goes. That's it, just how it is. Bubba, um, seriously, such a thrill to, to watch you play, man. Um, really a joy. And we're going to be rooting for you no matter where it ends up. Hopefully, for our sake, it's not like the Yankees, the Red Sox. Um, <laughs> we would prefer that it be Baltimore. But wherever it is, man, con continued health, success to you. Congratulations on everything you accomplished. And thank you for taking the time for us. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you having me on the show. And I guess we'll have to see where I end up. But who knows? Could be Baltimore. It'd be awesome. Oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs>